welcome back children i hope all you are well today in this video we are going to start third chapter of your science book that is fiber to fabric let us begin cloths are one of the basic and important requirement for human beings before the discovery of fiber and stitching of cloths leaves and bark of a tree or animal skin was used by ancient people to cover their body therefore clothing is one of our basic necessity or basic need clothes are stitched from the fabric and the fabric have variety of textures but each type of fabric is prepared by weaving the fibers fibers can be described as strands of some material they are the raw material from which fabric or textiles for our clothes is prepared fiber is basically of two type natural fiber and synthetic fiber and natural fiber is of further two type plant fiber and animal fiber so there are two type of fiber one which are obtained from natural source and other which are man made fiber which are obtained from natural source are called natural fibers for example cotton silk wool etc and the fiber which are man made are called man made fiber or synthetic fibers for example rayon nylon polyester etc animal fiber animal fibers are natural fibers that are principally comprised of specific protein such as silk hair fur and feathers all animal fibers may not have the same property even within the same species the fiber property may be different wool is a natural fiber and is generally obtained from the fur of sheep hence sheep are the principal source of natural fiber silk is obtained from the cocoon of silk worm which feeds on mulberry leaves plant fiber the fiber that obtained from plants are known as plant fiber for example cotton cotton can only cultivated in black clay soil and it needs warm climate for its proper growth the seeds of cotton are sown during early spring the plants of cotton are shrubs and are about 1 to 2 meter tall next is jute jute is also a type of plant fiber jute is a natural long soft shiny vegetable fiber obtained from the stem of a jute plant generally jute is used for making ropes mat gunny bags carpets jute bags foam packing materials and decorative articles it is one of the most low priced natural plant fiber and it is also called the golden fiber because jute fiber are golden in color and have silky shine plant fiber is further divided into stem fiber stalk fiber leaf fibers seed fibers and fruit fibers jute flax and hemp are the example of stem fiber bamboo is an example of stalk fiber banana and sisal leaf are example of leaf fibers and cotton is a type of seed fiber fruit fiber have an example that is known as coir coir is a natural fiber extracted from the husk of the coconut coir is the fibrous material between the hard internal shell and the outer coat of a coconut and it is used for making different articles like rope fishing nets strings etc 
So you can see different type of plant fiber in this picture like cotton, jute, coir, hemp, flax. Now wool. Wool is a natural fiber which is obtained from the hair of various animals such as yak, sheep and camel etc. It is a soft fiber which provide warmth in winters, is soft to feel and can be dyed in various colors. Woolen cloths are preferred in winters because of their quality to act as insulators. The air in the pores of wool does not allow the body heat to go out, thus maintaining the regular body temperature in winters. Wool differ in quality on the basis of animals from which the wool is obtained. Thickness, shine, length, strength and various measures to identify the quality of the wool. Now characteristics of the wool or features of wool. Wool has many features such as they are composed of amino acids and amino acids further will make the protein. So we can say wool is a type of a protein. They have excellent absorbency, moisture regain is high, they tend to be warmer than others as they are bad conductors of heat. Only natural fiber which has low tenacity or strength. They have poor resistance to alkalis. Alkalis are also base but good resistance to acids. They have good elasticity or resiliency. Resiliency means they have ability to spring back into shape. So they can easily regain its shape. Apart from these characteristics, wool also have different other characteristics. Like it is comfortable to wear because of its softness. Wool is the fiber which act as a fire resistance. Usually during the fire break out, woolen blankets are used to douse the fire. Wool is strong and thick fiber which gives a long durability. Wool is used for getting better sound quality as it is a good sound absorber. Now different type of wool. There are different type of wool or we can say wool is of various type depending on the various animal phrases like alpaca wool, angora wool, cashmere wool and mohair wool. So first of all alpaca wool. Alpaca wool is obtained from an animal that is known as alpaca and it is mostly found in South America. Its wool is soft, fine and warmer and lighter than sheep's wool. Alpaca fiber is white but shades of black and brown are also seen. It is used for various purposes such as making of bedding, hats, rugs, scarves, gloves, toys etc. Next wool is Angora wool. Angora wool is the wool produced from the down coat of the Angora rabbit. So you can see in this picture this is an Angora rabbit. This wool is known for its softness, thinness and fluffiness. This wool comes in white, black and brown shades. It is used in knitting cloths such as pullovers, scarves, socks and gloves. This wool is ideal for people suffering from arthritis and wool allergies. Next type of wool is cashmere wool. This wool is obtained from cashmere goat. The wool of this species is soft and lightweight which is weaved into yarns for further use. This wool is expensive because of scarcity of raw material and its costly production. Pure cashmere can be dyed and used for knitting gloves, socks and other clothing or can be used as raw material for making garments like outer coat, shawls, scarves etc. Next type of wool is mohair wool. 
वह बोल इज मेड फ्रॉम हेयर ऑफ अंगोरा गॉट दिस इज एन एनिमल फाउंड इन टर्की दिस वोल इज शाइनी एंड ड्यूरेबल इट्स सिल्क लाइक फैब्रिक इज ऑफन यूज इन फाइबर ब्लैंड इट इज अवेलेबल इन वेरियस कलर्स एज इट टेक्स डाई वेल मोहर वोल इज यूज फॉर वेरियस पर्पज लाइक होम फर्निशिंग मीन्स इट इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग कार्पेट्स वॉल फैब्रिक्स एंड इट इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर मेकिंग गारमेंट्स लाइक स्कॉफ हैट्स सूट्स sweaters coats it may be used as substitute for fur and is often used in making doll wigs so in this video we learnt about different type of wool in next video you will learn how is wool obtained thank you